Hey guys, what up? So in this video, I want to show you guys how to install Postgres and set it up for Windows. Windows has a basic installer that's going to have everything that you need. And it's probably best when you do go to the install page right here. If you go down to download, uh, you're going to want to get the um, you know latest stable release. So version 9.4.5 is probably the best version uh, at this point. And I'm going to grab the 32-bit version. It doesn't really matter. I have a 64-bit operating system, but um, typically my... Python development is done in 32 bits, so I'm just going to keep my database there as well. Uh, this is going to go ahead and download the install that we're going to run as soon as it's done. All right, so after that uh, downloads, go ahead and just go ahead and uh, run it. In fact, I just double clicked on it. You're going to need to run it as an administrator. If you're on Windows 8.1, it's going to uh, prompt you with this, which is essentially the same thing. But if you're on Windows 7, you may have to right click on the actual executable and run as administrator. All right, so we'll go ahead and go through the setup wizard. We're going to put it under program files like it um, like it wants to do. And um, continue to just click next through all of this. This is where you're going to want to set up your actual admin password. And go ahead and use the default port so you don't have any sort of confusion. And I'm going to change my locale to English United States since uh, that's where I'm currently located. Which I probably will continue to be located for a long time. Can't imagine myself leaving at this point. And we'll go through uh, the next. And it's going to take just a few minutes here to install everything. Alright, so once this is done, this is going to actually try to promote its Stack Builder tool, which is an optional thing, and most people probably don't want it. I certainly don't want it, so I'm going to uncheck that and just click Finish. And now if everything went well, let's go ahead, since we're on Windows 8.1, let's go and um, search for Postgres. And unfortunately, if you're on Windows 8.1, I still miss Windows 7. That I can't just like look at my installed programs. Uh, but when we go to search, what we're actually looking for is uh, PG Admin, which is a part of what was installed for us. It can be thought of as the uh, PHP My Admin for MySQL, which is hugely important, or the, um, uh, hell, I can't remember what it's called, but um, SQL Server has something similar as well. But it's just a console, it's a GUI console to be able to manage your servers and stuff like that. All right, so uh, located on the left-hand side here, um, you're going to see the Postgres 9.4 in this um is the local host address so it should be the default port that it asked you for so that just means that the server is running so if we actually wanted to go into this server we would just double click on it and it's going to prompt you for the password that you just created and then now you can actually see that we're into um, that database server which is going to list all the databases that we um, have on it which we currently don't have any so what we're going to do here is we're actually going to create a database name and um, we're going to assign it. It's going to have just a default role, which is um, your Postgres role. And you can see here if we actually go under login roles and we double click on Postgres, you can see that it is a super user. Um, so ideally we could use something like our Django application and then just be able to log right in um, as the super user, uh, which is what I, I plan on doing here. So let's go over um, under databases. And if we right click, we can say, if we have databases selected, right click and say new database. And then here we're going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it uh, new movies since that's the name of the website that I'm going to be using. And then the owner, I'm just going to assign it to the super user, which is Postgres. And then just click, click OK. And it's going to take just a few moments here. All right, so now you can see that we, knew, we now have a uh, new database table, or an entire database, I'm sorry. Um, and if we wanted to add tables to it, we could do that. Uh, but we're going to get into that in a different video. This video is just about how to install Postgres on Windows 8.1 and create a database. If you wanted to create user roles, you can do that. Um, 
you would just do the same thing, right click, create the role name and stuff like that. You can assign roles to a particular database and um, more documentation is available on that online. But this, uh, like I said, is just kind of a straight to the point video on how to install and get your first database set up with PostgreSQL. All right, guys, thanks for watching and please subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.